During the late 1960s, the US Air Force approved a McDonnell Douglas design of a dedicated air superiority combat aircraft that it needed, an aircraft that we now know as the Boeing F-15 Eagle. Built to match the Soviet MiG-25 in those days, the Eagle, as the aircraft came to be known as, first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It is among the most successful modern fighters ever built, with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. Fast, precise and deadly, this is the Boeing F-15. Impressive loadout of weapons and avionics suite, the F-15 has to look back from the day it first flew. It has been continually upgraded to match modern-day warfare theater, proving itself time and again. The Eagle has been exported to allied nations around the world and was originally envisioned as a pure air superiority aircraft. Its design included a secondary ground attack capability that was largely unused until the first Gulf War. The aircraft design proved flexible enough that an all-weather strike derivative, the F-15 Strike Eagle, an improved and enhanced version of the aircraft was later developed. This aircraft entered service during the late 80s and it too was exported to friendly nations. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operations around the world on deep strike missions against high-value targets, on combat air patrols and close air support for coalition troops. The F-15SE, the Silent Eagle, and the F-15EX, currently under development, are the most advanced of the F-15 variants. The plane comes in versions like the F-15A, F-15B, C, D, and more, and has also been tailored to versions ordered by user nations. With a maximum speed of over 1600 miles per hour or Mach 2.5, a combat range of more than 1000 nautical miles and an impressive array of armaments, the F-15 has a service ceiling in excess of 60,000 feet and a rate of climb of 50,000 feet per minute. The aircraft has proved itself to be a formidable adversary over the years, logging strong mission competence and outstanding performance graphs, enough to interest a lot of nations, including the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia purchased their first F-15s during 1981, inducted to then a small defensive Royal Saudi Air Force. The aircraft would soon prove its mettle as the defender of the Saudi Arabian skies against active aggression. The Royal Saudi Air Force has come a long way, now grown to be a large military with offensive capability and operates one of the largest F-15 fleets in the world. Saudi Arabia's F-15 fleet includes the F-15C, D's, single and dual seat variants, the F-15S, which is the Saudi version of the F-15E Strike Eagle, and the F-15D trainers. Lately, Saudi Arabia has undertaken a strong endeavor for upgrades and fleet enhancement. The program includes upgrading of their F-15S to the F-15SA standard. Much of that upgrade is to be performed locally. In addition to this are also Saudi Arabia's new built F-15SAs, which are now set to have been delivered to the Kingdom. The F-15SA is Saudi Arabia's newest and most modern fleet of Eagles that affords it the desired technology intensive capability. The F-15SA or the Saudi Advanced offers next generation technologies including an advanced cockpit meant for the fifth generation F-15 Silent Eagle, ESA radar, digital electronic warfare suite, fly-by-wire, joint helmet mounted queuing systems, and the world's fastest mission computer to remain ahead of current and evolving threats. A potent fleet like that will give a military the edge it needs to look after the territorial integrity of their nation. A high-end fleet, however, is just as good as the serviceability it has scheduled itself. This is where it comes to the absolute basic, fleet maintenance that is. Simply said, the need for a comprehensive training program of fleet maintainers can never be overstated. 
No fleet, however large or potent, can operate effectively if it is soft on the maintenance side. Upcoming IATC video lessons will carry greater information about the maintenance aspect of the F-15 Eagle, and it is hoped that maximum attention will be given to keen learning by all relevant applicants to the maintenance requirements of the aircraft and be prepared to proudly excel in the line of duty ahead in time.